All right, so now that we know what standard heat of formation is, basically, once again, the energy that's absorbed or released when we create a substance from its basic elements in their standard states, we can use that. It's just another way that we can find delta H for reaction. So we've been doing, um, you know, the Hess's law where we're flipping and multiplying, divide, adding equations. Um, so this is just another method to find delta H for a reaction. Um, so we're going to use that equation. Um, basically, we're going to use the sum of the delta HFs that's in that table uh, in our book for the products minus the sum of the delta HFs of the reactants. Okay, products minus reactants. Um, so if I have this would be you know what the book you did. This is the problem. Two NaHCO3 solid going to sodium carbonate plus water plus carbon dioxide. So that's given. All right. We want to know what is the delta H for this equation. All right. So if we can use that table. All right. You know, or if we want to plug it into this equation first, uh, when we say sum of the delta HFs, we're going to look up delta HF for this. You know, look at the products first sodium carbonate, water, and CO2. We're gonna look up their delta HFs, and we want the sum of them. So we're gonna add all those together, just those ways. Look them up in that table, add them together, all right? It is important to keep track of your signs. Then we subtract the reactants, the same thing, the delta HF for the reactants. In this case, there's only one reactant. However, since there's a two for a coefficient in front of it, we need to multiply this by two. If there was any numbers in front of those, we have to multiply theirs. But since they were all ones, we just keep it just like that. All right. So you got your carbonate, water, CO2, your products all added together minus two times the sodium bicarbonate. All right. And so then if we just look up those values, all right, for the sodium carbonate, for the water, and CO2. Keep track of your signs. I kind of like to use the brackets and then the parentheses. Minus two times the value for the NaHCO3. These are all in kilojoules. You know, if we just do the algebra, we get negative 1810 minus negative 1895. We end up with a positive 85 kilojoules in the end. Pretty straightforward. 